Andy Parker Confidential. Happy holidays. It's almost Thanksgiving. One of my absolute favorite Thanksgiving sides is stuffing, bread stuffing. We're not a cornbread kind of family. We are a bread stuffing kind of family, but I don't always feel really good after I eat it. So I've got something for you that I really, really think you are going to love. This is cauliflower stuffing. Before you turn up your nose, follow me and I want you to try it. This is made with riced cauliflower instead of the bread. It tastes exactly like the stuffing that I have always made every single Thanksgiving. Why? Because we use all the same seasonings and just swap it out with vegan butter, cauliflower rice, and a few other little goodies. Okay, come on back and let me show you how to make it. Okay guys, we're back. This is actually my sister Vicky's recipe. Um, my sister is making a vegan entertaining cookbook and all the recipes are vegan, plant-based, but most of all, very, very easy, but elegant looking for entertaining. I will let you know when that's out. This is one of the recipes from that book. She actually made it and taste tested it on our family and we all loved it so much. I couldn't believe that it was actually vegan and plant-based. So here's how we're going to make it. I just sauteed two medium onions that I finally diced, three cups of mushrooms. My sister recommended um, baby Bella and a shiitake mix, so that's what I used. Then three cups of celery that I also mixed. To that, instead of the regular butter that you would normally use, we just used a vegan butter and we used half a cup of that. So we've just finished sauteing it. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees and now let me show you the rest of what we're going to do. Let me grab my, my bowl. Okay, here is the concoction of mushrooms, celery, and onions. Here's what I would do. I mean, just so that like nobody's like crying and bummed on Thanksgiving, I would really recommend making this. You can just make a little batch. This batch here will serve about four to six people. So just make a little batch of it first and make sure that you like it before you actually introduce it on Thanksgiving, just so that you don't blame me. And now I'm just going to add my seasonings. Normally I would add all of these seasonings while the vegetable mixture is still in the Dutch oven just to save on dishes. But I'm filming this and I wanted to talk to you at the same time that I'm actually making it. All right, so to this mixture, I'm going to add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. Now nutritional yeast is high in protein and a lot of other vitamins and minerals and it's really a staple of vegan cooking. It gives it just kind of a nice rich flavor to it. So I'm gonna add a quarter cup of nutritional yeast to my mixture. Okay, and to this, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of poultry seasoning. Now this is why this tastes so good and so much like the regular stuffing mix that you would normally make because we're using all of the same herbs and seasonings that you would normally use. So I will tell you that when we have this, um, not only was it delicious and it tasted exactly like the Thanksgiving stuffing that you're used to, do a trial run of it before Thanksgiving just to make sure that nobody's gonna be disappointed. Okay, honestly, we are going to do kind of a trial run with this stuffing on Thanksgiving. So even though we all really loved it, we're just gonna have kind of our training wheels, a little dish of regular stuffing on the side just in case. And really what I mean is just in case my dad's bummed. <laughs> My mom, my sister, and I are all plant-based. Oliver pretty much is. My dad, he likes his Southern cooking. My dad is a Kunas from Louisiana. So we grew up on gumbo and etouffee and smothered chicken and grits and the whole nine yards. So he still likes that stuff. Not that I don't. All right, so here's, we're doing a quarter cup of poultry seasoning. And today I'm using dried herbs. Now the recipe calls for fresh herbs. You can do either. On Thanksgiving, I will actually use the fresh herbs. Today I'm using dried. And the ratio is one teaspoon of dried to one tablespoon of fresh. And the reason is because dried herbs are stronger and more pungent. So that's why you use less. So we're doing dried rosemary. And I'm putting the recipe for this directly under the video so that you have it. Dried sage dried parsley. So you have parsley, sage, rosemary. I feel a song coming on. Give that a nice mix. 
And now I'm just gonna season it up with a little salt. So like I said, you guys, this makes about four to six servings. If you have a bigger party, obviously you can just double it. You know, you know what to do with that. And we're going to bake it in an eight by eight baking dish. A little bit of pepper to taste. I'm kind of spicy, I like spicy stuff. <laughs> My husband's English, so he likes bland food. He won't like this. <laughs> Oh, I almost forgot the most important part. All right, so we're going to put in six cups of riced cauliflower. I use Nature's Earthly Choice. You can use frozen also, no big deal. The six cups is usually about two of these eight and a half ounce packages. Pepper. You know I'm a messy cook. And the rice cauliflower just gives it that nice, nice texture. Now remember, we did use half a cup of vegan butter. This is for four to six servings. So it's not something that you're going to make every single night of the week, but it's really not bad. And in comparison to what we normally make and eat on Thanksgiving, it's a drop in the bucket and this tastes so good. I actually find myself craving it. I don't even miss the one made with bread because you feel so much better after eating this. Right, there we go. And now I'm just gonna dish it up into an eight by eight baking dish. Here's my baking dish. Okay, that's what it looks like. And the last thing that I'm going to do, and I think this is just kind of a must, I'm going to sprinkle some panko breadcrumbs on top because I like the textural difference. It gives it a nice little crunchy top and then you've got your soft stuffing layer in it. My sister made it with the, with the panko breadcrumbs and I really liked it. They're very good. And I'm just going to sprinkle it on the top. You can also mix this with just a touch of butter. I found that it really didn't need it. I gave it a quick spritz of olive oil on top just because I wanted a little bit of crispiness and it helped it to brown a little bit, but you don't need to do that. It's completely up to you. Let's give it a quick spritz, spritz of olive oil, or you can do a little drizzle of vegan butter if you like. It's your dinner and it's up to you. And that is it. We're just going to bake it. Let's see, how long does Vicky say to bake this? 15 minutes, that's it. So you can actually pre-prepare this the day before Thanksgiving, which I like doing, then put it in the oven before you're going to serve everything else. So let's put this in the oven and then I'm gonna show you what the final product looks like. Okay, and this is the final product, you guys. It smells exactly like the holidays. The smell of butter and celery and onions and sage. Let's give this a little taste, shall we? Just kidding, it's really good. <laughs> if you have any questions, please be sure to ask me. And for all things wellness, fitness, style, and healthy living, subscribe to my channel or you can visit me on the blog, anyparkerconfidential.com, and I'll see you on the blog. Happy holidays, everyone.